ask for what you want. Don't expect people to know what you want. There's things I don't know. I'm always willing to learn. And I have to bring in the export for it. Well, that's one thing here. Like I try to instill in all the team members. And it's sometimes for the newer team members, it's hard for them to maybe realize it. Is just because I say something doesn't mean that's what I actually mean. What I mean and, and what I'm trying to get to there is like, hey, I think this cup should go right here. And then you need to be strong enough and brave enough to be like, Ryan, I know you're the boss. I know it's your company, but honestly, I think the cup should go right there. And I'm like, no, no, I think it should go right there. And this is where it comes in. You need to be like, I hear what you're saying, but the reason I think it should go over here is because X, Y, Z, one, two, three, A, B, C. And I'd be like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But most people, I mean, cause it's human nature for, for anyone to say, no, I, I like my idea better. But you have to be able to stand up and say, I appreciate that. But in this situation, I believe I'm right. And and I value that. And, and I hopefully, I'm not talking to my ass, hopefully everybody here feels that if they feel like their idea is better, stand up for it. Does that mean their idea is always better? Not necessarily. But if if, if you can stand on two feet and tell me that you think your thing is is and it's not a better or worse. It's an alternative to whatever, but it could be better. I'm going to, I'm usually going to get a defer yeah. to you. Like if you're the creative on the project, I defer to your creative judgment. You know, I said, I want it this way, but you think it's that way, but I really want it this way, but you really want it that way. You're the one doing, you're the boots on the ground. I'm going to go to you. Yeah. So, but you got to be that's brave. A learning. That's yeah. also a learning experience. Yeah. Like I, I had to learn that. And one of the, the best things a mentor ever said to me was um, ask for what you want. Don't expect people to know what you want. If that makes, if, if that's clear. So I learned to ask for what I want. This is what I want. This is my intention. This is what I need to get out of it. And I'm okay if that doesn't work for you because <sighs> 90% of the business in, in production and film and, and the entertainment is a rejection, right? And so you got to be able to take that. I like that. Though. You got to be able to take I'm rejection. I'm okay if that doesn't work for you. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, so that's a learning experience. And I it took pizza. me time. I want chicken. I'm okay if, <laughs> if that doesn't work for you, but I'm getting pizza. <laughs> that goes for everything in life, though. Like, yeah. and I actually, I encourage my kids to say what they want. Right. It doesn't mean you're going to get it. Yeah. But it's important to express what you want. And so. a, as a business owner, what I'm learning is I need to stop thinking in terms of how to get there, but instead convey what I want. And because you're the boots on the ground, you decide how to get there. Like, it's a journey. Yeah, yeah. Well, because like, because I'm so focused. Because usually, you, when you do everything on your own, you just learn to do it on your own, and you're like, you have your set ways of doing it. But like, who am I to tell Sohil how to run his control room? Yeah, like he's yeah. the guy that's in there, not me. So I just need to tell him I want a podcast, and yeah. he can go in there and podcast. And it also gives them the creative space and freedom, um, and freedom, and then they're able to grow in, in their dynamic and their setup. Um, but at the same time, your production just still needs to have direction, yeah. right? Yeah. So your team, and that's going to so, be guided by someone.